I started my working life at the State Library in 1973 when I received a cadetship. Under this scheme, we worked for one year at the State Library to learn about what libraries do, then the organisation sent us to university to get our degrees. During the holidays, we worked in every section to widen our experience, and at the end of the course, we were expected to work for three years at the library. It's now 40 years since I started. For the first 12 years of my working life, I worked in the music library. This library was established as a central library to service the whole state, offering three main services. A lending service for musical scores, a listening service for mainly classical music, and a reference service about music. This service was really valuable because at that time it was difficult to get access to sheet music or recordings. The library was open very generous hours, 9 o'clock to 9.45 Monday to Saturday, and 2 to 5 on Sundays. This meant that the working hours were somewhat onerous, working two nights a week, and two out of every three weekends. One of the best things about the library was the clients. The library was at the centre for much of Perth's musical life, with performers, teachers and students, regulars in the library. You would get members of the symphony orchestra looking for additional resources and chamber music. Performers such as David Helfgott, local orchestras, and performers in musicals and operas. We got to know the regular clients well and they really appreciated having knowledgeable staff to help them. The listening service attracted a very different crowd. Because music does not require reading and language skills, the library was dry and warm and we had a lot of homeless people who would come in to listen to music. They were mainly older men who lived in the hostels around Northbridge. Some were quite educated but they'd fallen on hard times and some would come in drunk and many needed a good bath. Because we did not know their names, we would name them after what they listened to or what they wore. There was the tenor man, the Hawaiian shirt man, the Smetana man, who was a Czech composer, and the Italian song man. Demand for this service decreased in the 1990s as people were able to access alternative music services. The staff in the music library were always a close unit and many were very talented. We would always be going off to see them perform in various productions or we would put on our own Christmas productions. Their integration into the music community was a bonus for promoting the library. Until 1983, there were no computers, so all access to the collection was through the card catalogue. We were involved in the whole process, from ordering the materials, cataloguing and processing the materials, and then helping clients find the information or music they wanted. This was a wonderful learning experience for the staff, as we all expanded our knowledge of music, and we were able to order and find the music that our clients wanted. My time in the music library was probably the happiest of my working life, and I made lifelong friends from the staff who I worked with. The feeling of a group of people who all got along well and was so passionately focused on helping the clients was one that you can't beat. <laughs>